I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with meteorologist Jeff Penner. And we have a total eclipse of the sun coming up on August 21st. And we have a way of knowing what the weather will be like 55 days before. Astronomers are the best forecasters in the world because they know exactly where the eclipse will happen and down to the second. But weather-wise, we have a good concept as well. That's right. It's not just the stars, the moon, and the planets, and the sun that are cycling perfectly, but the weather is too. The cycling pattern hypothesis, and it has three main aspects to it, and the weather pattern sets up between October 1st and November 10th in a unique way. And Gary, we are still in that pattern that set up last October right now. That's right. The pattern is cycling regularly. Let me show them what's going on. There's the cycling weather pattern influenced by other features. But the main fact is that this pattern is cycling and this year's pattern is cycling at 58 to 59 days. So we can look back 58 to 59 days before the eclipse and know scientifically that it is likely going to return. So here is the eclipse path from Oregon, Portland, Oregon, across towards Kansas City, all the way down to the southeast. You do not have to be right down the middle to see the eclipse. Anywhere in this shaded area, you can see the total eclipse of the sun, but you need to be in that shaded area. So what is the weather going to be looking like? Well, let's take a look. As you can see here, this is the path 59 days before. We had a few clouds, but if it's exactly 59 days, it's looking pretty good. 58 and a half days before, Tropical Storm Cindy was sending clouds up over the southeastern part of the country. There may be another tropical system that we'll have to monitor in late August. And then 58 days before, you can see another band of clouds, but most of the path is looking good. So in the Pacific Northwest, Portland, Oregon, all the way to Wyoming, a 95% chance of a clear sky. This is going to be a very good location to see the eclipse. Farther down to the southeast, we can see that in the middle part of the country, Kansas City, a 70% chance of a clear sky. So we have some problems. There might be some clouds, but it still looks pretty good. And in the southeastern part of the country, we're up to an 80% chance of a clear sky. So as we look at the entire path, green means great viewing from Portland all the way to the western Nebraska, a little problem area we have to monitor, but still it looks good for this entire path and then good in the southeastern part of the country. So as we take a look at the sun, hopefully there won't be any cloud cover. What we're looking at here, as you can see, uh, if there are clouds, make decisions early on August 21st. You can easily move to another location, even with two or three hours notice. So keep a monitor on your weather forecast. There is your forecast 55 days before the eclipse. Overall, it's looking pretty good. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak.